two consecutive defeats so unusual in your life, Pierce and then McNeil. How could I? I don't know. How did you handle it? Wow. Do you, do you break up the furniture? Loss. Do you <laughs> smash windows, throw things? What, no. What, I just, um, no, I just took off for a week. You know? I, I didn't play tennis for about three weeks or so. And just did things other than tennis. You know, I just thought about Such other things. Tennis. Yeah, and... Uh, Such what things? Um, and I went fishing. I went... Uh, In Florida? Um, actually not, it was back home, uh -huh. but um, go to movies, uh, just wat watched around, just drove around, just listened to music, spent a lot of time with friends, which I haven't really had a lot to do, and um, so just not really tried to think too much about tennis, but it wasn't very difficult too. But were those painful defeats? Uh, sure, I mean every, every loss itself is... Um, it's difficult, but I think, on the other hand, which you learn through <laughs> 10 or 12 years of tennis, is that it, a loss is not everything. And uh, even if people say, you know, like you just said, two losses in a row, I mean, I don't really think it, of anything being it that big, really. I mean, yeah, there are losses, but the good thing about the tennis is a couple of weeks later you have the next tournament coming up and you can do better. So. I think that's what you learn. Do you also learn to disregard people like me? By that I mean, you, we say Steffi is 45 and 3, 45 wins and 3 losses. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? What's going on? No, I'm t I don't, I don't uh, take it too hard, really. <laughs> I don't think about it too much. Are, but you are not currently, or you haven't been. When you won the Australian Open over Arantxa Sanchez Vicario, who was playing very well, I mean, she didn't play badly in that match. You were on another planet. <laughs> what has happened since then? Well, I think um, until um, probably was around Key Biscayne, I think I had an incredible year. I mean, I played some great tennis. I did get at the at the end of Key Biscayne. I did get tired of it. And uh, even though I played great, I just um, I just needed some time away from the tennis, and um, that's what I what I took. And uh, actually, then I wanted to 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 continue the way that I was beginning the year. I wanted to keep playing the way as as well as I did. And I think I tried a little bit too hard because I worked way too much, and I entered the tournaments in Hamburg, and I was just. Um, Overpowered. I mean, I just lost so much energy in my workouts. I just spent too much time practicing and working out that I got into the tournaments very tired, actually. And I never really new could feeling for you. Yeah. And I, I was surprised because I started losing weight and I didn't know why. Because it, usually during the tournaments I put on weight and so all these things, and I didn't know what was going on. And it really started to to get a problem, and, and then I, I just lo lost um, a little bit of touch. And then during Paris, and I was just not ready to play. 